kind of want to make sure that you understand the basics. You know, what's in a hydraulic system, like valves, conductors, actuators, you know, how it works like a pump, how you can get a small syringe to go into a larger syringe, um, have a good conversation about Pascal's Law, in particular, you know, the, the, how force and pressure and area are all related to one another. And then talk about our constraints. These are the constraints we typically use. We don't do much more than five pounds. I'm going to show you some examples as well. So here's one example of a can crusher we made. It was a pretty fun project. Uh, then we had just a mini claw. This is kind of like a, we put a little golf ball in here and we just squeezed it just to make sure it could hold. So nothing too intense. And then here's the freight lift. The goal here, we're just making a simple little elevator. So we're going to have to make the, the pieces for the actual framework and we've got a syringe it looks like so the syringe is going to allow us to move up and down now, i'll give you the syringe for it but you'll be able to put everything else together let's go ahead and get started and talk about how we're going to make that happen first thing i'm going to do is just start a brand new design i'll open the waffle here or excuse me the data panel and I'm just going to navigate to a folder I've already created. If you haven't created one, go up to the top and say new folder. So I'm going to be here in hydraulic device number three. Now I do have this presentation we work with in class. And I'll put a link to the file up here. So at the end of this, there's some files like the fusion syringe here. We can actually go to this link and download the, the syringe. So I'll click that and it'll download it. So you can see down there at the bottom, there it is. Now I'm gonna go back into Fusion and I'm just gonna upload that. Now that is in my downloads folder, so there it is. And I'll just hit upload. It might take a minute to upload that file, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed. What we're gonna do is we just kinda of wanna drag that over, right? So I'm gonna to have to save this file and I'm just gonna say hydraulic device. So everything's gonna happen right here. So now if I wanted to, I could say, here's the actual syringe that I just uploaded. I could drag it on over there and there it is. Now I want that in there first because really everything is gonna happen around this syringe. So it's not gonna work yet because we don't have anything grounded. Very first thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and kinda close that data panel down. I'm gonna start designing. Now it looks like in my original design, it's got some sort of elevator, so it looks like it's attached to the top of that, doesn't it? But then also that the syringe goes through one of those. Okay, so I think, I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of start with this piece right here in the middle. So I'm gonna go into a new component first, and I'm gonna call this the, uh, we'll call it the syringe support. And now I'll go into sketch mode and I'm probably gonna draw right here on the bottom of this, the underside. So I'll click there. Now I can, I could go ahead and hit P for projecting geometry, but I'm just gonna actually use the circle itself, the circle tool. And I don't really, I need some clearance there because what if I 3D print this? So I'm gonna say, let's make that 0.75. And that's a little bigger and that's good. Now I'm gonna go up here to create and say rectangle. I like to use the center point rectangle a lot for this project. And I think what I'll do is make this um, two by two. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so let's go ahead and extrude here and see what we've got. I need to pick up these spaces as well. So if I kind of rotate, you can see what I'm up to. Now the boards that we have in our shop, I need to make sure that I choose something that we actually have. So 0.25, because I'm gonna build this one. These pieces are not together yet. See how that syringe moves? So let's go ahead and get some of that going. So notice how I went back up here to the whole thing. And I am for this particular piece, the one I just drew, the syringe support. I'm gonna right click on that and choose ground. So now I'll zoom out a little bit. And let's go up here to joints. And let's just get this, the syringe. Let's get it in the system here. So I'm kind of zooming in, you see, and I've got the center of the syringe casing. And then I'm just gonna come over here. 
And let's rotate that around and see if it looks right. You know, we want the lip to be on top of that board. So I'm going to try to hit flip here. Oh, that'll work. So when I do, that'll work pretty good. I'll go ahead and click OK, and then that syringe will come over. Now I'll go ahead and show you this. The syringe should now work. It should go up and down. So that's all set for us. So next up, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw a new component. I'll call this syringe support wall. And then I'll say new sketch. Got to click on this side here, maybe. And I'll just start by drawing a, a rectangle here. So I'm kind of going to grab those extents. Now I want to make sure this is a little bit longer, right? Because I need to leave room for the syringe to go up underneath here. It's got to go through there. So I'll come over here. And I tell you what, I think I'll just make that, let's see what five looks like. Whoops, not there. Two. And let's tab over and hit five. And that should give me plenty of room to get the tube up through there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And I think I'll go ahead while I'm here and extrude that. I'll click both of these. And I'll come out 0.25 because, again, that's the kind of uh, boards I have in the back. So now that I've got that piece done, I'll go back up here and just select the whole assembly. Now that's going to move, right? So I'm going to put a joint on there. And I'll just say, give me that edge. See, so notice how I got the edge of it, like the corner. And I'm going to come over here now and say, give me this one as well. I'm trying to make it flat, just like that. And then it lines up perfect. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to take this piece of the syringe support wall. I'm going to right click and say copy. And I'll right click out here and say paste. And that gives me that second piece. Yeah, I just moved it out there. Now I'm going to go ahead and join that up as well. So here's the join tool. Kind of the same setup as last time except where we're just going to the other side. Let's see what that does. That is not correct. So I'm going to hit the flip button, and it looks like I might have to pull that out some. Well, it looks like I'll have to change and say 0.25. There we go. So we're making some good progress now, aren't we? What we'll do is start making the actual elevator shaft now. So I'm going to go up here and say new component again. And I'm going to put back of elevator shaft. And I'll say new sketch. And I'll click right there. And I'll go ahead and take my rectangle tool. Start over here. Oh, it's that one's fine, but it's not grabbing over here. So I think I'll use the P. I'll project this, this shape and this shape. And sometimes that's kind of helpful, right? Especially when it's not letting me grab on there. So now I'll go up to rep rectangle and hit here and here. And I just need to make it tall enough. Let's, uh, 2.5 is fine on the width, but let's tab over and let's make that 10. Man, that looks good. We'll go ahead and extrude it, so make sure to click everything here. Probably pull that out as well to be 0.25. And then I'll go back up here and select the whole thing. That actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. But this is not attached, so I'm going to have to take care of that now. So I'll go to join, and I think I'm going to try to get down here on this corner if I can. Make it so that it's flat. That looks like it went flat. That's perfect. And now let's rotate that and see if we can do the same thing to this corner down here. That looks like it's going to play really nice. All right, so just to make sure, let's make sure our syringe is still behaving like it's supposed to. Yep, I'm still able to grab that and move it up and down. That's perfect. Then I think what we'll do is put the sides together now. So I'm going to go to New Component and say Sides of Ella Vader Shaft. And I'll do a new sketch. And I'll come over here to the side. Now, let's see if it plays nice this time. So I'm going to hit Rectangle. Did really good there. Not playing so nice there. Let's see if it'll grab that corner up here. Nope. 
So I'm going to go and hit P for project again. So I've got that and I've got that. And I'll hit OK on project. Now I'll draw my rectangles. So there to there. Nothing really to measure here. So I'm going to hit E for extrude and I'm going to go ahead and pull all this out. And I'll say 0.25 again. And I'll hit OK. So what that does is puts the side there. So let's go ahead and select our whole thing now, our whole assembly. Let's go ahead and pull this thing off because we know it's not attached, right? And let's attach it. So let's join here. And let's come over here. Okay, now I need to move that back, it looks like. Not quite, so let's try like a 0.125. That looks good. And we'll hit OK. Now that side's in place. I'll right click and say copy. And then I'll right click out here and say paste. Now by default it always puts it right on top of the other one. So I can go ahead and scooch it out here so I can work with it. Same kind of setup as last time. I'll come down here and try to get that to where it's flat. And then I'll come up here as well and do the same thing. And let's hit flip and see if that helps us out. And it did, but it put it right up inside there. So let's scoot it out some. So I'm going to see that that's probably supposed to be a 0.25. That makes sense. And I remember last time, whoopsies, last time we had to scoot it back too, didn't we? Same thing here, it looks like. So I'll scoot it back. That's probably going to be a negative 0.125 now. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we've got our syringe moving up and down like it's supposed to we need to go ahead and put something on top of that though don't we we need to put like the actual platform now so we're going to go ahead and put our platform on right there to do that i'll go to new component and for name i'm going to call it platform and i think i'll go and i'll hit sketch right on top of that syringe there and i think i'll go ahead and hit project so i'll hit the p key there's the inside walls and there there's some more right and I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit OK and I'll extrude so I can click that that and that and then I'm gonna try to click everything in here as well Remember, there's a lot happening inside that syringe so it looks like I've got it all and I'll just drag this up and I think we'll make that 0.25 and hit OK I'll go out here now and highlight the entire assembly. That's not attached yet, but that's no problem. Let's go ahead and hit join. And let's hit the center of that uh, squarish rectangle and the center of that. And now we can hit OK. So now we should be able to move it up and down. And that gives us what we want. Just a, a thought here this is gonna work right but if it starts jostling and jiggling so much because this is plastic syringe we may have to put a cover on that right so I'll go ahead and hit new component and I'm just gonna put front casing and I'll go into new sketch and I'll go ahead and draw a rectangle from this corner and I want to kind of line it up here it's just not playing nice so I'm gonna hit project out here and get something that I can actually grab onto. That project button, man, it's a, it's a lifesaver sometimes. So there we go. And I'll hit finish sketch and I'll go ahead and extrude this piece now. And let's make that 0.25 as well just to keep it consistent. And I'll say OK. And for a hydraulic device, I'll select the whole entire assembly. Now the issue is I really can't see what's going on in there, so I tell you what, I'm going to take just this piece for sure. I'm going to right click on it and say physical material. And I think I'm going to choose something that's clear. So let's go out here. I think we have our own little library, right? We have NHS engineering, so I think I'll go in here and just do like a acrylic out here so now there's a piece there but it's clear so that allows me to see you know the mechanisms inside there moving up and down 
which makes for a much cooler experience. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and add a weight in there too, right? But you know what? That thing's going to tip over, isn't it? We better put a base on there. So let's do one last new component, and we'll call it base. And I'll go ahead and sketch on the very bottom of this thing. What I'll do is just I'll go up here to rectangle, say center point rectangle. That's been pretty nice to me, so I'll just click the center of that. And let's make it like, a, probably should go a little bigger. So I'm going to go four, tap back over, and hit another four on this. And I'll hit finish, sketch. And I'll go ahead and extrude everything. And I'll make that a quarter inch as well. And hit the OK button. Now remember, that's not attached. So I'll have to drag it out. And then actually come in here and attach it. So I'll use the join. Come in here and I guess I'll just kind of start right. Well, you know what I could do is click the center there. And I could click centered there it's gonna put it right next to each other but then I can use my offsets right that might be the easiest way to do that let's check it's like a little bit of a gap so this is probably supposed to be 4.75 yep all right so now when we rotate it around and we grab onto that inside piece so I'm gonna grab here see it going up and down. Let's see if I can rotate that just a little bit so you can actually see it better. There. And I'll go ahead and highlight the whole thing. 